very early on a morning not long ago, in fact, just a few weeks ago, I woke up in my hotel room and after prayer, I went downstairs. I turned right out of my hotel and took a brisk walk down the street about a mile or so. When I arrived at an ancient church, I bent down to enter through the low door and stood with amazement in the church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. In the quiet of that early morning, a sense of wonder filled me as I imagined an early morning many years ago. What promise filled that place then and still fills our lives with the wonder of Emmanuel, God with us. With a love greater than we can imagine, God chose to enter human history as one of us, one who would show us a new way, one who brings salvation, one of whom the angelic choir sang, glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. Had I turned left instead of right as I left my hotel room that early morning, I would have reached the separation wall, a foreboding 27-foot high wall which forms a boundary around Bethlehem and in fact stretches through much of Israel-Palestine. The land of our Savior's birth is a land in turmoil as Israel and Palestine struggle to live in peace. That wall actually separates the birthplace of Jesus from the historic shepherd's field where these shepherds were the first to hear the good news from the angel of the Lord. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. A savior has been born to you. How can it be that the Prince of Peace came to bring peace and yet in the land of his birth there is no peace? How can it be that in many places in our world today there is no peace? How can it be that in our own lives, in our families, in our communities, in our nation, we experience struggles, sorrows, conflict, despair. And yet, and yet, we are a people of hope. For we have evidence that the birth of Jesus launched a new story in history. Jesus brings a new birth of hope. The Sundays of Advent speak holistically of the Christian message of new life. Hope, peace, joy, and love. The beginning point is that new life is possible. The past does not determine the future. Christ empowers us to choose a new way. Lives transformed, new birth. The future is open. Peace becomes possible, a deep peace that satisfies the soul. Joy, unspeakable joy, and love a love that empowers and transforms even the most impossible of relationships. We are called to allow Emmanuel, God with us, to truly be with us, to live in our hearts, to allow Jesus to be incarnate in us. May you be a hope bearer. May you be a peacemaker. May you be a source of joy. And may you love as Jesus loved in this season 
and always.